Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for taking a DNA test against my, paternal, family's wishes? I, 21 female, had a rich grandfather who died recently and I didn't know him very well. He divorced my grandmother when my dad was 13, and barely spoke to him or his siblings for a few years after that. My aunts and uncle never knew why, and felt really rejected by my grandfather's lack of interest in seeing them on a regular basis. When my dad was 18, he reached out to my grandfather and reconnected with him. Eventually, my grandfather was able to somewhat mend his relationship with my dad's other siblings, and he even paid for their college. However, my grandfather and grandmother were still pretty bitter towards each other, but never told anyone why or the reason for the divorce. They didn't really stop being openly hostile to each other until my dad died when I was four. Now that my grandfather's dead, the secret came out when the will was read. Apparently, my grandma had an affair, and when she was pregnant with Ed, she didn't know who the father was, but choose my grandfather because he was the most financially stable. My grandfather didn't know for the longest time, until he caught my grandmother in another affair and found an old letter her first lover sent that she kept. He was furious and filed for divorce, and used every legal, although not very ethical, trick in the book to keep as much of his assets and resources as he could. The will stated that before each child could claim their share of the inheritance, they would have to take a DNA test to prove that they were his biological child. To any child that refused the test, or they were proven not to be biologically related to my grandfather, then they would just be given $5,000, while the rest would be allocated to the children who were proven to be his biological child. We were all shocked, and grandma was livid. There were a lot of fights, but in the end, everyone wanted to present a united front, and just try and find some kind of loophole, claim the money and then take a DNA test. I never agreed to that and resented being told what to do as a legal adult. I tried to talk to them about it, but they shut me down twice. My uncle's wife even accused me of not really being my dad's kid, so I shouldn't get any money anyway. That pissed me off, so I just took the DNA test out of spite, and, I am my grandfather's biological grandchild. So as of right now, I'm getting most of the money. My paternal side was really angry with me. It's now started this domino effect where everyone is starting to fight with everyone. And now that the euphoria of showing up, my uncle's wife is wearing off, I'm starting to feel guilty because of how it's affecting my cousins. So, am I the a-hole? Edit, okay I stepped away for a little bit and I just wanted to clarify some things. Already stated this but, my dad died before my grandfather, so his opinion doesn't matter. My grandmother, aunts and uncle never liked my mom and were always passive aggressive towards her. Even after my dad died, they still weren't very nice to her. What my aunt said was the final straw that broke the camel's back. I wasn't a part of the decision to not take the DNA test. Everyone else had been having meetings and just told me, in a very authoritative way, what was going to happen. Like my opinion didn't matter. If they would have asked me to join their choice, I would have done so. If I turn out to be the only one who ends up getting the money, I have no problem setting up a small trust with my cousins at the very least. The only person I would 100% not give a solid dime to, is my uncle's wife. Pretty sure that chick is racist and I'm biracial. Because someone asked, while I did like my grandfather and care about my cousins, I am much closer to my maternal side than my paternal side. Again, a lot of that has to do with the fact that they didn't like my mom. From my understanding, combining the money, properties, and other assets, the appraised value is around $4.2 million. Everyone has up to a year to comply to the DNA test. If everyone had refused, assuming there wasn't a loophole to exploit, each person would get just the $5,000 and the rest would have gone to charities that my grandfather felt deserved it. The reason why they haven't all taken the test yet, was because my grandma doesn't want them to. She denies everything that my grandfather is accusing them of, and says that the letter provided, is fake. She's too insulted by the mere accusation, and thinks that if her children do it, then they're doubting her integrity while also giving in to my grandpa's manipulation from beyond the grave. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. This was a stupid game and everyone won the stupid prize. The family sounds ridiculous and your aunt opened her yap, and got a mouthful of her own crap to chew on. It sounds like there's a lot going on, but if they want to fight over the will, it's likely because some of them already know they don't fit into the terms and just want the money. They could all be related, for all they know. You're just abiding by the terms of the will, and in the end, you also got a little back at someone who was unnecessarily cruel to you. Too bad for her. The prize OP may win is not stupid. Not the a-hole. It was your grandfather's wish, 
So if anything, he is the a-hole. And your aunt sounds like a nasty piece of work. Also, the rest of your family has the choice to do the same and get tested. If it is a ton of money however, you might consider setting up a college fund for your nephews and nieces, one that the aunt can't touch. It would be a nice gesture from you that might unify the family, while respecting your grandfather's wishes. I mean the grandmother had at least two affairs, the grandfather paid for all the children's colleges from the marriage. I am also assuming he paid child support as he never had any of the children tested. At the end of the day, it is his money and he has the right to decide who gets it. He decided that he wanted the bulk of it to go to biological family. That is totally his right. If anything, it's the grandmother who is the a-hole. It was her choices that have led to the need for DNA testing. Not judging the marriage could have had issues, it's not like her children will no longer be siblings. The family is also trying to find a loophole for what he wanted. The aunt even got nasty from greed, and basically called OP a bastard. I do agree about the college fund for the cousins and such. Not the a-hole. Your grandmother had repeated affairs and faced consequences. Now they'd much rather find a loophole than come together as a family and pool what money they get shows they neither trust nor really like each other. They viewed you stepping out as a threat and showed them are reprehensible people. The next story is titled, Am I the a-hole for not using my daughter's college fund for my stepson's rehab? The title basically sums it up I suppose. My husband and I have been married for three years now, I have a daughter, 15 female, and he has a son, 24 male. I am friendly with my stepson, but we aren't close. He has a biological mother who is a perfectly fine woman, I'm not here to take the role of his mom. My late husband, my daughter's father, died when my daughter was six, we both contributed to her college fund. My daughter's paternal grandparents have also contributed a large amount. Right now, the fund has about $180,000. My daughter is extremely bright, and I'm not just saying that because I'm her mom. I truly believe she has the capacity to go to an Ivy League school and her teachers have said she has the potential as well, and I don't want costs to hold her back. Our income would be too high to get any meaningful financial aid, and while there are a few merit-based scholarships out there that she will be applying to, we don't want to put all our eggs in one basket and hope she gets it when it's so competitive. My current husband and I have separate finances and he doesn't contribute at all to my daughter's fund. My stepson is struggling with a hero addiction, and has stolen money, jewelry, heirlooms, and electronics from us for substance money. I understand that addiction is a disease, and I personally paid for an outpatient detox for him, which cost $1,000, which failed. His father then paid for an outpatient rehab program, which cost $6,500, which also didn't work because he barely showed up. He promised us he'd do better next time and he needed another chance, so I split the cost of another $6,500 outpatient rehab program with my husband, which seemed to work during program, but he relapsed as soon as he got out of it. I have spent so much money, time, and energy and it hasn't helped at all. My husband and my stepson want to try a 60-day inpatient rehab program, which will cost $30,000. I had absolutely no idea where they were supposed to get the money for that, considering the thousands and thousands of dollars that were already spent, and the fact that we no longer had anything of value in our house. They want to use my daughter's college fund, which to me is absolutely off-limits. I feel like it's completely unfair to my daughter to punish her for my stepson's addiction, unfair to my late husband and his parents, but frankly, I don't think spending $30,000 will work. My husband thinks I'm an a-hole because I'm prioritizing my daughter's education over his son's life, and he believes medical needs come first. He then asked my daughter if she'd be willing to use $30,000 from her fund to pay for her stepbrother's rehab and she got very quiet and did not answer. He then got very upset with her and said she was being selfish. My daughter later told me that she didn't want to give her stepbrother the money, but she felt so guilty, and I am furious at my husband for emotionally guilt tripping my daughter like that. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. They want to use my daughter's college fund, which to me is absolutely off limits. That's not up to you, them or anyone. That's your daughter's money in all but name. Your husband paid into it. Your daughter's grandparents paid into it. You paid into it. For her. Not for some kid that half these people don't know. He then got very upset with her and said she was being selfish. Why did you allow this? Why are you allowing this to be your daughter's concern? Why is she being put in this position? I get that you're furious, but this is way over the line. This shouldn't be am I the a-hole for refusing, this should be, 
so I left this guy because he crossed a line and made my daughter feel accountable for an addict, because she wouldn't give 30k designated for her future. Addiction is a serious problem and I'm sorry for your stepson and his dad, but not sorry enough to excuse what they're trying to pull here. Your daughter is not a cash cow for them to raid when it suits. This kid has stolen your money and your property, he's trying to steal your daughter's future. You're right, I should have stopped him immediately. The only reason I've tolerated it so far is because obviously, I love my husband, but also because I understand the pain he's in as a parent, and I can't help but be sympathetic when I imagine my daughter in the position his son is in. I would be terrified and cross boundaries as well. I believe that my stepson was a good man before the addiction, and could be a good man again. But I just can't sacrifice my own daughter's potential education for that possibility. But the idea of him potentially dying from an overdose one day when I could have helped him is just, I can't even express it. But the idea of him potentially dying from an overdose one day when I could have helped him is just, I can't even express it. This is the problem for me. You are not being asked to help, in this case, I know you did previously. Your daughter is, and that's not fair. If this was you and your partner taking out a second mortgage, taking a loan or whatever, my answer would be different. My only issue here is that, your daughter is being asked to make a sacrifice for this guy. Thinking on this, your daughter has now been put in this position too. I imagine before now, she never considered that she could help, being 15. Now she knows that she could give money to help, and if she refuses, she might have some guilt if something bad happens. You need to take this decision away from your daughter. It's unfair to give her any reason to feel responsible for the outcome to your stepson. Next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my older sister in a family Zoom call that it's not my fault or marriage is a failure? My, 22 female, sister, 32 female, has been married for almost 6 years. Her relationship with her partner, 33 male, used to go very well, but she wanted to have kids as soon as they got married, that made her husband start to resent her. He always makes jokes about how he would have liked to enjoy more time alone with her, they moved in together after getting married, but the way he says it is weird. I don't know, it doesn't sound like a joke, you know? The point is that, I recently got married and my relationship with my husband, 30 male, is going very well, and that annoys my sister apparently. The other day, we were on a Zoom call with my family for my birthday, and I showed them everything that he had prepared for me, my mom had asked me to show them. I showed them how he decorated the whole house for me, the gifts, and even the cake that he baked for me, and my sister started making bitter comments about our relationship. My mom loved everything and she told my husband that everything was very beautiful, but my sister just laughed and said that he was being so extra. Then she said that the day we have our first child, we don't have children, and we want to wait a few years to have them, he is going to forget that I exist, and that in a few years, he will not even want to touch me like he does now. She said that because we are very affectionate with each other and we are always hugging or kissing etc. The worst part is that, she said all that as if it were a joke, but I didn't like it. She realized that her comment made me feel uncomfortable, and she just said oh sorry, I didn't want to burst your bubble. I was so mad, but I didn't want to say something to hurt her, so I told them that I had things to do, and that I was going to hang up the call. But when we were saying goodbye, she said something like, I was going to cry because she told me how I was going to end my relationship. I couldn't contain myself, so I told her that it wasn't my fault that her marriage was a failure, and that there was no need to ruin my birthday like that. I told her to solve her marriage problems in therapy and stop being so envious, that it was not my fault if she chose the wrong man. Then I hung up the call. My mom talked to me later and she told me that my sister was an idiot, but that I shouldn't have been so rude to her because she is having a difficult time in her marriage, but I don't care. Why should I hide my happiness just because she is not happy? It's so unfair. Am I the a-hole? Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. You should really get therapy instead of taking your unhappiness out on me, is infinitely more considerate and compassionate than anything she said. Seriously, Big Sis needs to realize that the misery in her marriage isn't normal. And trying to convince every other married couple that they'll eventually feel it too, won't make her own relationship any less unhappy. Not the a-hole. Your sister shouldn't dish out what she can't take herself. And you're right, she is jealous. Yep. Misery loves company. Not the a-hole. Not only was she being bitter and lashing out, but to do it on your birthday? That's a pretty crap sister move. Her marriage issues are not your fault and she sounds like the type of person to do that kind of thing with anyone she sees in a happy relationship because she's jealous. 
She needs to work on her own crap instead of making herself feel better by ruining everyone else's happiness. Not the a-hole, your sister is the one being extra, but she's being an extra a-hole. It's pretty clear she was pushing your buttons and she totally deserved what you said. She needs to grow up and stop taking her failed marriage out on you. The last story is titled. Am I the a-hole for refusing to pay for a child's surgical procedure? I, 33 male, was involved in a road traffic accident, which resulted in injury to a child, 6 male, 5 years ago. I was an avid motorcycle enthusiast, and I go for cross-country road trips often. During one of these trips, a child ran across the expressway, and I lost control and collided with the child, mainly injuring the child's legs. The parents were just pulled up ahead and were smoking grass. They hadn't even noticed that the child had gotten out of the car. They then sued me and lost. Long story short, because I was going under the speed limit and was not inebriated, I was let off with warnings and, I just had to pay for the court processing fees for the parents. Anyway, the child suffered a fractured leg, and had to have surgery. I was deeply shaken by this event, and feel extremely guilty. So, I volunteered to pay the cost of the surgery which came up to 34,000 US dollars. Over the past few years, I developed PTSD and depression, started therapy and I am on antidepressants. Though I am way better than before, I still need therapy once in few weeks, and do have the occasional nightmare. Presently, the child, 12 male, developed something called contractures and myositis ossificans from the surgery, and has a difficult time walking. Now the child requires another surgical procedure. So, the parents contacted me repeatedly, and are breathing down my throat demanding me money for the surgery. I downright refused. I asked my partner and friends, and some of them have said that I am the a-hole. I am deeply conflicted and would like some feedback regarding this issue. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Everything that happened was never your fault. That kid ran into the road because their parents were too baked to notice. You paid for the kid's surgery, even after the parents tried to sue you. You have gone above and beyond there is nothing to feel guilty about at all. The irresponsibility of the parents caused injury to their child and OP, monetary and psychological. OP already helped when he wasn't obligated to. I hope OP overcomes his trauma and rediscovers his love for the road again. Not the a-hole. You did a nice thing by paying for the initial surgery. That was not an invitation to pay for all of this child's medical needs forever. Block them so they can't keep badgering you. If you feel bad, send one last message telling them that you wish them all well, and will keep the child in your thoughts, but would like no more contact. That was not an invitation to pay for all of this child's medical needs forever. It could be seen as admitting guilt, which will give the parents a stronger case if they decide to sue again. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.